Alright, so I got no computer in front of me, but I think that's about to change. So check this out. Um, I'm actually just got home and I've already made this deal and I'm supposed to meet with the seller in about an hour. So I was just sitting at the groomers, just waiting my dog to get all groomed and everything. And this popped up on my Facebook, which Facebook's acting weird today. And it says RTX 2080 Super Snow Blind Case. Um, message seller for price. So not a lot of information ab about it, but I'll bite. I might give it a shot. It says RTX 2080 Super Snowblind case. It says 17,9700K. Um, yeah, 16 gigs of RAM, 256 NVMe, two terabyte hard disk drive, two monitors, keyboard and mouse, 700 need gone ASAP. So I'll give it a shot. So I went ahead and I offered them $500 and they accepted it for it. So I'm assuming the 17,9700K is good. actually they meant to say an i7,9700K. Now the pictures they have, if my phone would work, shows of two monitors and that's about it. So I'm covering this up because I don't want to give much information about it but just kind of give you guys an idea. So they wanted 700, I offered 500 and I said I could give them cash today. They said yes please, I got to get my boyfriend out of jail, I need it ASAP. So I'm like okay. Cool. So I've offered them $500. They've agreed to meet me in an hour at my local Walmart and we're going to go ahead and do it. So now I just, what I also did was I also requested some pictures. So I'll go ahead and show you some pictures of what they sent me. Yeah, that's one. On this one, I really can't see much. Um, I think that's the computer case over there. Those are two monitors and there's a crap ton of wires. So yeah. This is the case and I really can't tell much from it. So this is actually going to be a gamble. Either I'm going there to get something pretty decent, getting scammed, or I'm going to get robbed. But either way, who knows? This might be a good deal and I think we should take the risk and see what we get out of it. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, first off, I want to start and say by I am not making no jokes out of this situation for the seller. They said that they have to bond their boyfriend out of jail. I completely understand. I get it. We all have bad days, guys. We all have rough days. We all go through something. So, you know, I wish them the best. I hope this works out for them and I wish this helped them. Um, I'm not trying to lowball them by no means, but based on the information I got, this is what we have and this is what we're going to do. So. $500 seems fair and I may get a good deal or something may be broken. I mean, there's a lot of unknowns. So I hope this helps them and hopefully I get a fair deal out of it. So we're not going to jump in the tech truck because the tech truck is actually out of commission today. Um, yeah, if you want to, if you didn't know, I do have another channel DLM garage. So subscribe to that one and you'll see me get that back going and running. So today we're going to get into the wifey mobile and let's head to Walmart in about an hour and hopefully Get a good deal. $600 so let's see if I got a good deal or did I get ripped off real nice people though so wish them the best let's get back to the garage all right got this stuff unloaded and let's take a look at what we got now as I showed you earlier the ad wasn't a hundred percent clear on what it was I was just kind of taking more liberties with it so I'm assuming we have a 2080 super with a i7 9700 k 16 gigs of ram 256 m uh 256 nvme drive don't know the type of motherboard or anything two monitors and we'll start with that first off gosh the smell of cigarette smoke is strong with this stuff but we could we could fix that we could fix that first off we got this asus hdmi monitor let's see anything about it i think this is the 24 inch yeah this is 24 inch and this is actually a 1080p 75 hertz monitor not a bad monitor i think these go for like a buck 99 a buck a buck 99 so i could probably sell this one for about a hundred dollars right there in the used market got a septra which i don't really care for them too much but this septra monitor it is a 1080p monitor. I do know that one. These go really cheap. So this might be a $50, $60 monitor. 
so and that's contingent on it does work now one thing i did miss or they did miss is that i do not have the power adapter for this one so i might have to get on the old ebay and try to get myself a power adapter just for that monitor kind of stinks our mouse and keyboard which are pretty gross but i will touch it for you guys uh razor naga mouse that's about a 40 dollars mouse i think we did pretty good over there so let's say 100 for that one 50 for that one 150 that we're at 200 this right here i could probably sell this keyboard for about 50 bucks so this is the logitech g512 carbon igx and brown it's actually a really cool keyboard and i don't know if we could get rid of all these ashes and spilt stuff on it i might even use that for myself who knows and now for this one this is what we've all been waiting for so there's a couple of things i'm seeing that are just a little wonky so we got an hdmi coming out in the back uh let's see no back plate that's nice this is just hanging out over there that's great and it looks like somebody ripped off something over here so i don't know how we're gonna fix that but we'll get to that one we'll we'll get there okay let's open this up oh i get it this is must be that eye bow yep I buy power and this screen must be like one of those audio screens yep that's actually pretty cool and these things do sell for a pretty penny because i guess you could do the whole decorative thing on it yep the smell of nicotine how wonderful um we do have a geforce rtx we have an asus model so this could be a super um i see things going on in the back over here which i don't know what that means but We'll figure that out. Uh, small cooler. This motherboard is the, not sure what type of motherboard it is, but you know, it's there. And it's also missing the supplemental for the PCI Express over here. So that's nice. Uh, it's got a M.2 stick right over here. So there's our M.2. So that's also kind of nice, yeah. Uh, I'll have to look this thing up. I'm not really sure what type of motherboard this is. And then again, I'm also assuming that this is a, whatchamacallit, i7-9700K. Two deep cool fans. Nice. They're just kind of, yeah, they're just hanging there with, um, I think that's bread ties. Yeah, that's good. Got G-Skill memory. Okay, 16 gigs. Yeah, um, you know, the red. Yeah, whatever. So, and there's cigarette ashes everywhere in here so that just makes this thing more special let's take a look at the back and let's see what surprises await us oh i didn't even notice this look at that custom controller for your um rgb yeah why not okay so what do we see what we have more ashes this is a evga power supply Okay. Just kind of dancing around there. Ooh, bug action. Nice. I think I see some critters. I think I see some critters. So, hmm. All right. So, let's do this. Let's go ahead. Let's blow this off. Clean it off because I really try not to touch this. I need to clean this before I do anything. Even if this doesn't work, I need to clean this. So, I'm going to clean this, get all the ashes, junk, and crap over here. Wipe these out pretty cool. And then I'm going to plug them up. To the bench well at least this and these i'll test separate and hopefully this is decent so fingers crossed <music>
know how well you guys can see that, but this HDMI thing is stuck in there. So I'm hoping we could pull this out scientifically. There we go. Oh, that was the display port. Oh, okay, sweet. It came out in one piece. Everything looks good and preserved and yeah, I'm going to talk about this build and the quality after it, but at this time, we're just going to go ahead and fire her up. All right, here goes nothing. Probably helps if I flip the switch. All right. Okay, we got juice. We got power. We got a little RGB GeForce RTX action. That's kind of nice. Ooh, hey, look at that, Republic of Gamers. Um, I don't know what it's doing, but it's doing something. All right, let me go through this real quick, and then we'll be right back. All right, so she fires up, and she seems to be working fine. Now, I'm in the BIOS right over here, and we're going to talk about a few things and just confirm what I got. So, we do have an i7-9700K. Awesome. Memory, 16 gigs. Eh, frequency, 2133. That might be the memory that's in there, or it just might be a BIOS setting. More than likely, that is probably the low-frequency memory, as that's just cheap memory with it. RTX 2080 Super. Sweet. Um, our 240-gig XPG Spectrix, which has some RGB action going on. All right, well, that'll be. Mm -mm -mm. And a two terabyte hard drive. I think that's a Seagate, which one is it? Seagate Barracuda, which those are actually pretty good drives on it. Um, few things to note right off hand. Um, it boots up, it works fine. I actually logged into the account of the person, which they have a lot of personal stuff, so I don't want to display that and show that right over here. This video is just to kind of test it, make sure it works. I was able to play some games on it, and it has a bunch of temperature issues. Let's just say that. If you look, our, our CPU just on idle is six degrees, 66 degrees Celsius. When I jumped into a battlefield and some other stuff that they had over there, because they said I could use their accounts because he won't be needing it for whatever reason. Um, yeah, <laughs> so I was able to use their accounts and by using their accounts I was able to play some games and this thing is just thermal throttling and it's just yeah So that needs some Tweaking to say the least on that not to mention. I mean this CPU cooler. is just a real Mickey Mouse cooler and Definitely won't get the job done. So I think I have a dark uh, be quiet dark rock pro for this so I might end up using that one or Maybe that Cooler Master one. I don't know. I will still haven't decided what I want to do with this, to say the least. Uh, the graphics card runs fine, plays all games perfect. I never had a 2080 Super. I only had a 2080, but uh, 2080 Super, Super is still a great card on that. So, um, Also, some temperature issues. I think it's a blower. Yeah, this is a blower style cooler. So, But she definitely needs some attention. This whole computer needs some attention. So, yeah. So as far as the attention that it needs, I mean, these, it, it doesn't even have the right screws over here. This mount is bent, which we can fix all this. It's still pretty dirty. I wiped it down and got rid of that grime and I guess nicotine and ash because that was just, I didn't want that on my hand while uh, tinkering with this. So yeah, but I cleaned it better for the most part, just for my sanity purposes. I mean, if you look at this towel, and if, yeah, and that's just one of the many that I had to use on that. So that is actually just really really gross on that and i don't know this back fan doesn't work and is it a great deal absolutely i will say that without a fact i got a steal of a deal on it but just to think that you know somebody built this to try to put this together it just makes you wonder where did they give up or just they could not they did not have or they could not afford i don't know i mean i don't know i'm not judging by no mean guys by no means i mean everybody has their computer story but I mean, we're using the wrong cables, a lot of things not plugged in and disconnected. So, yeah, I mean, our 12 volt for our CPU is not plugged in over there. So, yeah, there's just a lot of things going on. The cable management in the back. And so, yeah, <laughs> like I said, this is our um, kind of our bail bond PC, more or less, because they needed the money for bond, which, hey, like I said, everybody has a bad day. I don't wish this upon anybody. Um, hopefully that was able to help them. Uh, some of you might even say that I should have offered them more. My thing is, if you looked at the pictures, which hopefully I put that earlier in the video, if you looked at the pictures and the information I got, 
there was a big chance I was taking on this one. Did I score big? Absolutely. The graphics card alone is gonna actually recoup what I'm into this because I'm into this 500. So I can sell that for 500 easy on a fair deal. Maybe more if I put it on the eBay, which I haven't decided what I wanna do. The motherboard CPU, $200. So that already puts me at $700, $200 profit and just piecemealing everything between the monitors, mouse and keyboard. I could either do this as a complete build and probably double what I paid into it, or I could just piecemeal it, which I think I'm gonna do that because I could use some of the parts, make a bunch of videos and content for you guys. So, haven't really decided. So, this video came out of nowhere. I mean, I literally was just at the groomers, getting my dog groomed, and this popped up on my Facebook feed, and I was like, yeah, let me look into it, and I think it was worth the gamble. So, guys, let me know. Was it worth the gamble? Did I do good? If you like this video, definitely hit the like button comment down below let me know your thoughts about this if you're not subscribed definitely hit that subscribe button and as always we'll see what we come up with next